Greetings to you all. It's your boy Jay here with a look at the Magic's Zara page and layout design at 11. You can find it on their website and they offer a 30 day trial if you extend it. What that comprises of, I'll show you on the interface here shortly. But you're able to create your own graphics with graphic design software. They make it easy to um, start and get your designs out there pretty quickly without having to reinvent the wheel. Uh, some of the things that they tout are the features of text layout, image optimization, graphic design. What I'm going to show you today is just how easy it is to choose a template, edit it, and that'll be pretty much it. So let's go here. And I was in here earlier. I'm going to close out of it and I am going to reopen it just to kind of show you what you'll be greeted with when you first open the software. Especially if you are using the 30 day trial, they offer you a seven day trial. But if you extend it, that will be in this region here. But I've already extended it to 30 days. They'll send you an email to this email address and you simply just put in the uh, trial C code and go from there and you'll get 30 days to use this software I'll caution you that all the features won't be unlocked unfortunately unless you bought the full version but if you want to play around with it you can this product is a competitor is a competitor to affinity publisher which I think you may find a little bit overwhelming at first Zara has the advantage as far as ready-made templates that you'll be able to get right out of the gate. Affinity has more powerful tools and things like that, but uh, they both serve a purpose. Just depends on what you need. So as standard with any Magic Czar product, you have an introduction where it shows you the things that you'll be able to do, like what's included in the design gallery. That's where your templates are. You can edit the name, colors, edit text, things like that. And I'll show you from this introduction how easy it is just to change the, the text here. It's just to simply go here and double click and say I'll just put my name John. and then as you can see with the red here how easy it is to you know grab this oh, oh I thought so let's go here you know to add text you, you just draw that out like that of course but what I was trying to get at okay with the red here is if you need it to restructure this in any way you can kind of pull everything here that makes it easy to do that and I'm just gonna cancel that right now stick my name there or in fact just just go back to what they had at first but we're gonna X out of that and we're gonna go back and just kinda show you some of the things that you can do from the design gallery um, let's see this page in layers so you have introduction which I just showed you free example templates smart shapes everything else in red you have to by the full version to access page elements you have access to some buttons nav menus and things like that if you want to do that you could actually probably kind of design like a basic static website with this if you wanted to but they have more software that will do just that as well so you have the see what's in smart shapes you have arrows you know things like that so i'm going to show you how easy it is to bring it in we're just going to do a simple basic card and happy birthday and this is what you get so if you want to you know happy birthday to John oops you can do that then if we want to bring this text down just a little bit to fit there we can go here and do this just so it'll fit you know pretty nicely here I'm going to go with about 31 maybe see if it'll kind of get me close awesome and then if you want to preview this let's see if you also want to I guess go here and replace this image you can I don't think I have any images pictures maybe I thought I had something from a sample or something like that but nope I have nothing but if you want to go in and replace a picture, you just simply right click and do replace. You can also see from the menu here that you are able to do a lot more things here, like lock the shapes, export that image to a JPEG if you want it since you have it selected. And that's that.
You can also, and I excuse the background noise from my little one, you can also export to JPEG, PNG, PDF, but if you want to import, it will be delighted to know that you have a lot of options from some of the most popular tools out there like Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator. Um, let's see, from if you use Coral Draw, Adobe Color Swatch, Freehand, EPS Files, um, pretty sure you can bring in SVG as well but you have a lot of options that you can import from to edit a design if you need to you can bring it in and in fact I'll just kind of show you because you may want to see okay if I'm coming from Photoshop how that works so give me a minute I'm gonna go and find a Photoshop example and we'll bring it in and see how easy it is to edit the layers so I was able to find a pretty cool flyer. It's an EPS extension. So what we're going to do is just go to open here. So in this case, you don't have to do import. You can just do open. If you were already in an existing document, you could hit open. So I'm going to do the EPS file. And since we don't have the open source Google fonts on our stall, we're going to install. So I think that it was able to, I guess, detect that it used I guess a Google font so uh, they're not currently installed we're going to continue anyway and let's see if it's going to even bring this in okay this is okay, this is the flyer that I brought in and didn't do a good job with this one bringing it all the way in but good starter template though if you still wanted to do your thing with this let's see if we can get individual or unlock some stuff let's see doesn't look like it it's gonna let me okay there we go let's go to layers oh, that does nothing yeah let's try another example I'll be right back so now I'm gonna try to import a PSD file instead of the EPS file that I found. So this is going to be, uh, let's see here today. I thought I got that already. I needed to extract that. So here we go. We're going to go with the PSD. And I guess we'll just keep that at the DPI at 300. Let's see, I'll show you what the file will look like or is supposed to look like. This is what the flyer is supposed to look like. So we're going to see if it pulled it in. And it's still loading. Once it loads in, we'll see if we can play around with the text and things like that. So I'm going to go here again. Okay, so that's the original right there. I guess with a little tweaking, you could make it work. I mean, you would have to go in and actually kind of go in and make some of these things like with her, bring her in. I would uh see what I can do with this. Hopefully, it's just a shape. Okay, so yeah, we could bring that in. You could possibly, they're all item sale. Uh, Fashion Attic. I'm just trying to compare these just to see. It's at the top. Has a little curve there. I see with this shape, you would probably have to go in and kind of, you know, do your own thing here. But for the most part, it helps as a starter. You don't get everything like the curvature there that you have in the original, but you're able to do some things with it. So it's not perfect. But maybe I'll do a comparison to see how easy it is to bring in this same file in Affinity Publisher. So hope you guys um, like this kind of hands on deal just to kind of show you the simplicity of actually just going in to use some of the stock templates or going somewhere to find and download a PSD to kind of give you a start. It won't be perfect, but it is a start. If you have any comments or if you use this product, I'd love to hear your opinion in the comments. Like always, subscribe. Take care, folks.